We're going to start today's video off with a mystery photo. If you stick around to the end, we'll show you what it is. Until then, I'm going to try to get you excited about the boring but healthy topic of salads. I love them. I have a big bowl every day, but they're the weakest link in my grocery chain. They only stay, greens only stay fresh for a week, maybe two tops. So I fixed that problem by setting up a hydroponic ebb and flow system. If you want something simpler, you can do sprouts. For small seeds, you put them in a jar and you rinse that out twice a day and four or five days you have nice fresh broccoli sprouts. For larger seeds, you can use a uh, tray, simple tray with just fertilized water. I have some out of control peas here. For greens, I started off with an even simpler setup using mason jars with the craft tea method. This ended up being quite a bit of work having to constantly monitor and refill the jars. With the ebb and flow method, I have a big tray that twice a day gets flooded for 10 minutes. A pump at the bottom of this bucket sends water up this tube into this inlet and then uh, after 10 minutes it turns off and drains back into the bucket. Hey Google, turn on the hydro pump. Here you can see the water percolating up and when it gets too full this overflow valve will kick in and when it turns off it drains back into the bucket. Hey Google, turn off the hydro pump. Start off by planting seedlings, typically lettuce, and kale, and spinach, and bok choy, into these uh, two inch rock wool cubes. Put one seed in each. Then after a week or two, when they're big enough, I transplant them into this bed of clay pellets. Then presto, magic happens. Here's a time lapse of showing them growing over a period of a couple of weeks. I rotate new seedlings into one half of the bed while the, I harvest the other half. The lights are controllable via the smart house, but I just leave them on 24 seven. I find I get good, good results that way. But as a smart home junkie, I did find something I could wire into. As with the uh, cold tub and hot tub projects that I showed you recently, I use a Adafruit ESP board to monitor stem QTT time of flight sensor. It's mounted there pointing down at the water. So the distance to the water is, is what's reflected here on the display. In addition, I have it sent via MQTT to the smart house so that I can, uh, so it can notify me when the water level gets low or I can ask it. Hey Google, what is the hydroponic status? Hydro water is at 33%. Or we can check out the plots and see when I did a refill and then you can see the twice a day ebbing and flowing. That mystery photo was the root system of one of the expired lettuces I was cleaning out. They get pretty healthy and thick, but they're easy to clear out. And you just rinse off the clay pellets and reuse them. So now I can stretch my grocery trips out to six weeks. Probably would be simpler just to go grocery shopping a little more often, but where's the fun in that? Well, that'll uh, be it for uh, salads today. Thanks for watching. Until next time.